Billboard. And, um, you know, I just want to bring up the fact that uh, recently this stretch from 3rd to 11th has been designated as Soma Pilipinas, the uh, Filipino Cultural Heritage District, and there's a lot of cool things that are coming up uh, soon around that. But it's also important to note that Filipino families are still being pushed out of this district. That's right. And that they're being pushed away from the resources and, and their communities. And while this is a great thing, that also has to be acknowledged too. A co-worker told me once that development works like this. You lock into a place and build outwards. He sees a seed that builds a tree that spreads more seeds that builds more trees. The living organism of a city. Better buildings, nicer parks, street lights that work. This is how a city moves forward, how it grows stronger, how we progress. It didn't sound like a seed to me, but a wound. How when you discharge a handgun into a person, it only looks cosmetic at first. Beneath the insides have shredded, bone degraded into microscopic pieces, slowly upending the entirety of the system. Cities aren't abandoned, they're bled dry. The money is always in the development and never in the sustainability of life. Great cities tell the story of great empires. The great cities of this world eventually grind into dust. And when a city gives way to its body, what is it then? What are we if we don't see the places we inhabit as a living entity, but a machine? I know I'm in a body that adheres to form and structure, but there has to be inquiry beyond the recognition of pattern. I know there's something here that can't be replicated. There's no formula for desire, is there? No replication for the honesty of loss. I'm always afraid that someone will try to figure this out, that there will be nothing left to understand, just decisions based on outcomes, and beauty becomes only a series of pleasures provoked. I'm afraid that everything becomes abandoned in the end, even the things that make us human. I never felt more alive when the city was alive too. Well, now you got me questioning my own heart. Come on. The streets used to pulse for me, I swear it. Sometimes we get to write the world as we see it and therein is the mess of it all right now. The delusion of certainty, the weaponization of narrative. What would I be if this story wasn't mine to tell though? How do I say I'm still here? The blood runs through me, the heart, is both metaphor and material. Both will keep us alive.